Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I'm going to give you a look at the new version of Pocket Casts. That's Pocket Casts 4 and it's an important update for Pocket Casts because it's a complete redesign of the app from top to bottom and all the way down to the uh, icon has been changed. So the new interface is extremely clean and uncluttered and very easy to use and follows the uh, hollow guidelines nicely. Um, your basic interface here is that you have all of your um, podcast lists uh, listed in a kind of a tile format and once you tap into one you get a nice episodes list. Let me turn down the brightness to make it a little easier on the camera. You get a nice episodes list and you can long press to uh, long press and initiate a swipe to get rid of them, things like that, mark all those red, really, really basic stuff. Um, your Most of your listening is going to be happening in the playlist interface though, which gives you a nice list by default. You're going to have um, unplayed, downloaded, played, uh, audio and video podcasts. You can create your own playlist as well, which is nice, and you can name them whatever you'd like, and you can... Um, granularly choose uh, what you want the icon to be, um, whether or not you want to show audio and video podcasts, how you want, uh, which you want to show, downloaded, not downloaded, etc. And from that interface, that's where you can choose, for example, I have my unplayed one modified. And I have it set that when I open the app, uh, it auto downloads them, and then it also only downloads on Wi-Fi. You can also select to have it only download when charging, which is nice as well. In the uh, main settings menu, which is accessed from this, uh, this slide in pane here, from the main settings menu, you have all kinds, of, um, all kinds of goodies like how to skip or how long to skip forward and back, um, how to do or whether to use headset controls, when it should sync. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a minute with these other devices I have here. And how do you want it to manage storage, whether or not uh, you want it to delete when it plays, and things of that sort. So going back to Sync, uh, a big thing about uh, Pocket Cast 4 is syncing between different devices. So you can sign in with, uh, by default it'll choose your default Gmail address you have on the phone or the tablet. And when you sync, it will uh, sync your play progress, the download progress, everything between your different devices. So that means that once you get everything set up on your phone or your tablet, you hit sync, it'll sync on regular intervals, but you can sync at uh, your own choice as well. And you'll pull down, for example, oops, you'll pull down, say you have this um, unplayed playlist and maybe you're halfway through a show, like the iMore show, for example. So maybe you're halfway through here and you pause, you can pick up one of your other devices. I have a uh, Nexus 7 here and when you sync it down at the bottom, you'll see also that my random playlist one that I created has just showed up as well, meaning that that's synced over when I created the playlist. But then you also, um, if you've downloaded any of these, um, which I obviously haven't uh, downloaded iMore Show yet, but you can start to download it and then it'll show what your um, playlist position is on that uh, episode two. And also when you finish them or mark them as unread, they'll be, um, deleted from the other devices as well if you have that policy set to have them delete when you finish, which is really nice. And on top of that, we're also looking at uh, design, if I zoom out a little bit here, we're also looking at a design that's uh, responsive to the size of the tablet. So here you'll see that the interface is similar, but um, similarly to the way that Gmail properly resizes on the different tablet sizes. Um, this does a good job of resizing as well. When you're in landscape mode, you are given the 10-inch tablet UI, which is really nice. 
and um, the fonts scale a little bit. The interface scales just a tiny bit. Um, for example, on the 10 inch tablet also, you get the um, big landscape interface as well, which is really nice. And so this is no longer a sliding panel. You get all of your podcasts in the panel at all times. And uh, again, you'll see that the playlist one is synced. And then when you go to um, download, which you see it started to um, started to uh, download the iMore show because I've uh, marked that as well. Um, you get this persistent panel on the left side. And so the interface is slightly different. You go into the settings, the panel stays on the left side. So they've really done a good job um, in the interface department. Let's get rid of this, get rid of that, come back to here. So they've really done a great job in the interface department of making the same app feel uh, consistent across the different devices. And can't say enough things about how uh, how smooth uh, Pocket Cast 4 is and how big of a departure it is from the uh, previous versions. So it'll be coming out as a free update for those of you who have previous versions of Pocket Cast and it um, will be available as well for $2.99 for those of you who uh, haven't purchased it yet. Thanks for taking a look guys, that's Pocket Cast 4.